Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's July 21st, 2020. Here are your latest church militant headlines. Theodore McCarrick is being deposed in multiple lawsuits starting in two weeks. This according to abuse victim James Grine in an exclusive interview with Church Militant, where he reveals that the long-awaited McCarrick report is complete and has been sitting on Pope Francis' desk for many months. Grine is suing McCarrick and dioceses in New York and New Jersey for their complicity in decades of abuse. The Vatican is being sued over a $500 million property deal. Millionaire financier Raffaele Mincione is taking the Vatican to court over a luxury property in London he once owned, sold to the Vatican for about $500 million. The building's at the heart of a fraud and corruption investigation alleging Vatican misuse of Catholic charitable donations. Details of the lawsuit have not been released. Catholics are furious after a writer called the phrase pro-life racist. Last week, Jamil Smith of Rolling Stone tweeted, quote, the moniker pro-life so often used in the service of not just misogyny, but also racism, should be retired right along with Aunt Jemima and the Redskins team name. Smith has since received backlash from pro-lifers, calling his claims nonsense. Vietnamese Catholics are volunteering to fight abortion. A report released yesterday reveals the Protection Group, made up of 50 volunteers in the Diocese of Hai Pham, are saving babies from being killed in the womb. The group has rescued more than 100 children and has buried 61,000 aborted babies, saying they receive an average of 10 to 20 aborted children a day. Michigan sheriffs are refusing to enforce masking orders. Governor Gretchen Whitmer has issued 153 orders on the pandemic, the latest saying businesses should deny service to customers refusing to wear masks, leading some sheriffs to hit back, saying it's not promulgated in law and won't be treated as law. Residents have also launched efforts to scale back what they claim is Whitmer's abuse of power. Filipino bishops are warning against a coming dictatorship. In a letter issued Monday, the National Bishops Conference sent a letter to Catholics saying, quote, the government approved anti-terrorism law is crushing the basic freedoms of the population, close quote. They compared their government to China's and their plight to Hong Kong's, asking prayers for both nations. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today. Michael talks about Trump and Catholic Incorporated. God bless you all.